When two bodies collide in the travelling in a straight line, the impulse that the bodies receive is exactly the same in magnitude, but in the opposite directions, as shown on the diagram. Conservation of linear momentum can be used when there's a collision between two bodies that are travelling in the straight line. The momentum of the system, i.e. both bodies before the collision, is equal to the momentum of the system, again, i.e. both bodies after the collision. Rather than drawing the um, two spheres before and after the collision, we can just do an alternative diagram, which is to just draw the spheres once and put the velocities before the collision uh, above the spheres and the velocities after the collision below the spheres. We can apply conservation of linear momentum to this problem. Um, we just need to always make sure in these questions that we define one of the directions as being positive. In this case, all the objects are travelling in the same direction, so it makes sense to take that direction as being positive. In this example, after the collision, the two objects have joined together. The, uh, the correct technical term for this is they've coalesced. Once again, we can apply conservation of linear momentum. So the momentum of the system before the collision is equal to the momentum of the system after the collision. In this example, the objects are not all traveling in the same directions before and after the collision. We need to define a particular direction as positive, and it's generally that we take the direction of the unknown velocity in this case as being the positive direction. So before the collision, A will have a negative velocity, B will have a positive velocity, after the collision A will have a positive velocity and B will have a positive velocity. These are the standard modelling assumptions for this kind of problem. By considering Q, we can use the fact that impulses change momentum. The impulse is acting away from Q towards P, so that's the direction we take as positive, and therefore we can work out the impulse in the string. Even though there is no actual collision in this problem, we can still apply conservation of linear momentum to the system. We can apply conservation linear momentum to this problem. All the objects are traveling in exactly the same direction before and after the collision, so it makes sense to take the direction they're traveling as being positive. <laughs> 